Stay with us. We have the ex-Deputy Chief Minister uh, Kavinder Gupta. He's with us. Sir, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us here on CNN News 18. Sir, this statement that's come in from the NCA, I'd like to know your response. Sir, but as we were also pointing out to our viewers, the NC is not the only party to make this statement. Just a few days ago, you had the Congress's Digvijay Singh say pretty much the same thing about the PFI and the RSS. It seems like your opposition, sir, is speaking in one voice. देखिए इनका जो करैक्टर रहा है इसको दुनिया जानती है पीएफआई को बैन करना बहुत जरूरी था कांग्रेस जैसी या नेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस जैसे लोग हमेशा अपीजमेंट इन लोगों की करते रहे उसी का परिणाम है कि हिंदुस्तान की तबाही हुई जो कश्मीर के हालात मनाए हैं वो इस प्रकार की जो पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज हैं उसके लिए जिम्मेवार हैं इनको बर्दाश्त नहीं किया जाना चाहिए भारत में नशे की खेप लाना भारत से फॉरेन फंडिंग करा करके यहाँ पर तबाही कराना अभी ताजा घटना में आपने देखा पटना की रैली में किस प्रकार से प्लान बनाया जा, जा, जा रहा था कि प्रधानमंत्री जी को मारना है ये सभी लोग यही चाहते हैं कि नरेंद्र मोदी के नेतृत्व में जो सरकार चल रही है वो इस प्रकार की घटनाओं को यहाँ पर होने नहीं देगी तभी तकलीफ होना संभाविक बात है ये हम भारत में सांपों को नहीं पाल सकते ये जो पहले कदम लिया लिया जाना चाहिए था और जहां तक कौंग, नेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस और नेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस या दूसरे नेताओं ने लगातार इनका सपोर्ट किया है ये भी उसी दायरे में आते हैं इन पर भी चेक लगना चाहिए ताकि हिंदुस्तान की तबाही के खिलाफ कोई इस चीज की बर्दाश्त ना किया जाए देश में एक मजबूत सरकार है और खास करके ये राष्ट्र स्वयंसेवक संघ जैसे राष्ट्रभक्त संगठनों के प्रति ये इस प्रकार की कंपैरिजन करेंगे ये अच्छी बात नहीं है okay. तो लोग इसका रिकॉर्ड की देख चुके हैं और इन पर एक्शन होना चाहिए कड़ा एक्शन होना चाहिए सर हमारे साथ जुड़ने के लिए धन्यवाद दैट्स डेप्यूटी चीफ मिनिस्टर एक्स डेप्यूटी चीफ मिनिस्टर राधव जे एन के कविंदर गुप्ता इज विथ अस राइट नाउ लेट्स मूव वेरी क्विकली दो टू गेट सम मोर एक्सपर्ट ओपिनियंस इन टू दिस स्टोरी senior lawyer swapnil kotari joins us this morning uh, sir thank you so much for staying with us here on cnn news 18 i'd like to take to you a point that we heard opposition parties make yesterday again and again and i'd, I'd like to ask you what your response is on that in karnataka you had a number of opposition parties come on to our show and point out a figure the number they pointed to was that since 2007 you've had about 310 cases just in karnataka registered against the pfi but you've only had convictions in five of those cases their point was that the pfi is being unfairly targeted and specifically in states like karnataka that are headed towards elections they're being used to clear the agenda to build the point of the bjp to that sir what is your perspective um well so yeah, i think uh, that's a very facetious argument it's equivalent to saying that uh, because the enforcement directorate registered 600 cases in a particular year and could convict only 5 uh, say in the past uh, say 7 6 to 7 years that means it should stop doing its job uh, they are empowered by the law to conduct their job likewise the uh, ministry of home affairs or even the law department or any of those uh, laws or any of the statutes which is like the unlawful activities prevention act which is the applicable law here as far as the pfi ban is concerned and that will be the reason why you haul up people under the uap under the ipc section 121 for waging war against the government those sections uh, since they are not convicted or people are not being convicted under those sections that's the reason why you should not arrest them that's not the way the law works uh, if activities are found to be prejudicial to the integrity and sovereignty of the country if uh, there those are terrorist activities Uh, and if in the judgment of the prosecution those are and if the prosecution tries to convince uh, a court of law it's up to the court of law at the end of the day uh, as to what uh, you know who to convict and who to acquit and i believe in most of the cases where uh, people have not been convicted it's because of lack of evidence or because of the prosecution being compromised or being threatened so that doesn't mean that uh, uh, the the, uh, the ban should not be there because if there are five six reasons that are reading this uh, reasons on uh your screen which you have showing <clears throat> those are most legitimate reasons to ban the pfi so the argument of the karnataka government which was there yesterday on your show to say that because there are only few convictions is a very very facetious argument it never works in a court of law okay. uh, uh you know it's 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 uh, the courts and the judiciary do not function in that manner hmm. simply because uh that would amount to saying that uh the acts or the statutes are defined 
that's not the case they are not defanged it's just that people are not being able to prosecute in a proper manner because the prosecution does not put in enough evidence or it is compromised or it is threatened because if, as you've seen in india especially when there are key uh, cases such as say let let me tell you something which most of the people know about is the sushant singh rajput case it doesn't take 3 years or 2 years to come out and say that he committed suicide right so obviously it was a murder but then the point is that uh you know why has it not gone forward so obviously somewhere the prosecution has or somewhere the central bureau of investigation has been told to be tight lipped about it or uh, that's one case there could be several other cases that i could point out uh you know but but those are cases which may not uh, you know strike public memory very okay. easily but to let me tell you it's it's uh, this this argument is very facetious and i'm glad that the pfi has been uh, banned because that was a long since uh, overdue Sir, thank you for your opinion. For our audiences, we do very quickly now have to go into a break. This remains our top story, so we'll continue to keep returning to it in the next few hours. Right now, we'll see you in just a few minutes on the other side of this break. Remember, you're watching the morning news right here on CNN News 18.